Hey everybody, it's me, Rylan. So it is Saturday, uh, September 11th at 11.56 a.m. And I am so excited that I'm finally making this video because I've wanted to talk about this forever, but I just haven't had the energy. <laughs> so here we are. Um, all right, so I wanted to talk about this mantra slash motto or whatever you want to call it that I have been actively trying to live my life by for probably the past year. And what I'm trying to do is speak to myself with more love, more compassion, and more kindness. And if you look actually at what I'm wearing, I have a gorgeous reminder that says this. It says, speak to yourself with kindness. Look at that. Ooh. So um, I actually got this sweatshirt from, um, I knew of them because of Instagram, but they have a website of like a bajillion items and it's called um, Self Care is for Everyone. And I've always seen this sweatshirt popping up in my ads and I've just been like, I have like five extra dollars. So let me check out this website. And I was absolutely astounded because out of this gigantic website, like everything was basically like wellness, like mental wellness and like mental health focused. And I was just like, okay, I need to buy this because honestly, this is what's up with my life. So holla for me being able to wear something that's important to me. And yeah, I mean, just a suggestion is to check out their website as well because I found a lot of really inspiring um, like quotes and stuff that are just important to me. So I'm really grateful that I have this sweatshirt because this whole premise of speaking to yourself, let me get closer. Let's see what's up. Let's, let's, let's have a talk together. So what this means, speak to yourself with kindness is a way that I'm living my life and that I am trying to speak to myself in a much nicer and loving way. And the main way that I do this is when I have a thought or I say something negative about myself, like aloud, I stop myself and I say, would I say this to somebody that I love? For example, I have a girlfriend and my common thing that I am telling myself, not only aloud, but obviously in my head is that I'm fat and that I'm disgusting. And it's like, would I say that to my girlfriend? Would I be like, yeah, you're really fat and disgusting and you should probably lose weight. So you should work on that. No, literally no. I would never say that. Would I say that to my dad? Would I say that to my sister? Would I say that to my best friend? Would I say that to my dog? No, 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 no. All signs point to no. But honestly, I wish I knew what it was. I wish I knew, like, is it society? Is it, I have no idea how our brains have been wired to think the absolute worst of ourselves and to feel that that's okay. Like, we would never say any of the crap that we say to ourselves to anyone else because why? We speak to others with love and we support them when they are struggling with stuff. We don't kick them when they're down. When I'm struggling with a panic attack and I'm feeling weak and I'm feeling out of control and one of my loved ones were having the exact same experience and expressing to me, I'm really scared right now. I feel weak, da 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 da. No way would I look at that human being in front of me who is struggling and say, you're right, you are really weak. It's kind of pathetic. You're a loser. Go to therapy, figure it out. No. So it's like, why do we, or me, I'm gonna focus this about me, why do I say that to myself? How the crap is that fair? It's like we spend 24 hours a day, 365 with ourselves, and why wouldn't we want to make our lives a more positive place? And why do we not try to find more self-love for ourselves? 
And this is, like I said, this is something that I've really been working on for probably the past year where I will, again, say something aloud or think something and honestly stop myself. I will stop myself in my head and be like, stop it, that's mean. Or I'll even say it aloud and I'll be like, knock it off. And I have a thing with my girlfriend. If she says something negative about herself, I will literally look her in the eye and be like, would you say that to me? And 10 out of 10, the answer is no. And then I'm like, then why are you saying it to yourself? It's not fair. So it's been difficult to come to this realization and it's difficult to put into practice because this is how I've been living my entire life of saying awful mean things about my body, about my mental health, about my capabilities as a human being. And it's just like, stop. It's not fair. I don't want to live like this anymore. I don't want to be my own worst enemy. Because at the end of the day, it's like, it's just such a confusing concept when you get down to it is, is really that we are our worst and our own worst enemies. So, you know, I, I urge to you that you too try to become more mindful. And I'm going to say mindful instead of like change it. You need to change. No, try to be more mindful of the way that you're talking to yourself. And if you can, when you realize a negative thought, be like, wow, that's, that's kind of mean. And then if you can, and this will come with time, can you replace it with something positive? So I actually have like a, a deal slash contract with my girlfriend that if either of us says something mean about ourselves, she really struggles with depression. If she says to me, Rylan, I am a failure and I hate myself. I'll be like, stop. That's mean. Say something positive about yourself. And it's funny because it's incredible how long sometimes our pauses are to think of something positive to say about ourselves. It's nuts. So I, I, I say to you, if you notice something negative about yourself, is there a way that you can kind of like change it around and, and change it to a more positive thing? I'm not saying that you have to walk around and say that you're like the greatest person ever and pretend that you have all of this confidence because like, let's not. Let's stop putting out the idea that everybody is okay all the time because guess what? We're not, and that's not true. So instead of saying these mean things to ourselves, can we instead find compassion and say, you know what? I am struggling with my weight right now. I'm not really comfortable in my body, but that's okay. Instead of all of the other horrific things that I will never say on the internet because I'm embarrassed because they're so derogatory. So this is where I am as a human being in my life as I am on the path to finding more love because I struggle with a lot of stuff. I struggle with a lot of mental illness. A lot of my symptoms affect my daily life, how I function, how I interact with people, what my capabilities are on a daily basis. And it's just like, I gotta support me. You know, I don't know what that is. I is. We're gonna, I don't edit my videos, but if I did, I would definitely take that out because that was that was not my finest moment. But yes, I I want to be my own best friend. And you know, like other people can be mean to me, but I don't need to be mean to myself. So I am sending good vibes to anybody that is watching this. And I hope that you can just be nicer, be nicer to yourself and at least realize when you're saying mean things. And when you realize it, would you say it to somebody that you love? Because I guarantee you, nine times out of ten, you wouldn't. Thanks for watching my video, y'all. Bye.